without some mistakes. Yep. That's that's the big thing about uh good casters when they when they fuck up they don't like let people know. They they have like they hide it very well and they just continue on. Or they're just like, I made a mistake. I don't really care. Like yeah, right. Uh, all right. If you want the Frozen Temple, um, so I like Frozen Temple DBZ mostly because 1312 is so damn good. Uh, you could hide your links forever. Like you do, because it's a pretty straight overload scout path, but your 1312 goes around the side path, mm -hmm. and it's so hard to scout out the banelings, and you just kind of walk in and kill everyone. It's, it's really, it's great. Yep. Alright, so, in the bottom right hand corner, playing as the blue zerk, it is Matisse. And up here in the top left, we have All In's Puddle. And we're gonna and get. We gotta start this series off with a, a bang. <laughs> there's a pool. He's going with the 12 pool. Um, like I was saying before, this map very, very good for early stuff, early pools. I think. I think No Regret was saying how good it was, and when No Regret says a, a map is good for early pools, you, you better believe him because he's he's the king of that shit, right? Um, so let's see how Puddle deals with this. He's gonna go for a hatch first. So, Rep in not pieces. the start you particularly want <laughs> this. Not quite, not quite. But you never know, Puddle. Yep. Puddle's a good player. P Puddle could have some crazy micro going down, because uh, he's going to have his overload. He's going to see it pretty early. He's going to probably see it around here, I think, right? Um, I think what he's probably going to do is forfeit his natural and try to just micro his drones in his main until he could get enough, uh, get his spawning pool up. Uh, so Matisse is going to go for the economic 12, 12 pool, uh, make the 8 lings or so, and then take a hatchery. See what damage you get done, go home, macro out, and win the game. So, we'll see. Yep. Here comes the lings, and see how what time, when Pearl sees it and what his reaction is. He sees it now. Right about, yep, he sees it now, and what's he doing? What's the panic mode? Is he going to cancel? Is he going to... Well, he can't do anything yet, really. <laughs> Something, I mean, there's nothing to do yet. I mean, the obvious arc is gonna straight cancel. Cause yeah, you gotta buy some time, but uh, pool's about to finish. He's holding up the the larva though, which is good because he needs a larva for the to build dragons with. Now, if you're uh, if you're with these here, you just uh, killing the hatch and moving on. Um, yeah, I mean he's got his hatchery up. He yeah. may like dive into the main a little bit, see what he could get done. Um, with killing with like eight eight dragons. You can still fight a decent amount of things. Uh, Puddle's gonna try to save this hatchery. I don't know if that's a good move. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm not liking that decision. Uh, we'll see if he can do it though. What do I do on the ramp? One drone down, two drones down. A couple links pop though. Uh, because say, say, say Matisse only made yeah. like eight links only. Uh, yeah. If Matisse only made eight links, that might have worked. Because yeah. eight links versus a bunch of drones and uh, links pop. You could, you could save it, maybe. But um, when he, he he reinforced it with a little bit and just wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. All right. Well, pretty uh, pretty straightforward game there. Yep. Um. So yeah, I mean it's just a hat first versus a twelve pool. It's, it's tough. Yeah, tough build. <laughs> yeah, tough tough build to deal, to deal with. Um. Yeah, you can never really call it too, because sometimes they'll just make eight lanes. That's it. You defend it. With, with drones and stuff, and you're, you're good. Um, you have to know if it's going to be a, an all in, all in. So, what you usually do is you check with that overlord, see how many extra lings are coming in. Yep. Alright, let's see what the next map's going to be. Um, I am, we're not in a party, so I can't tell what they're saying. <laughs> Awkwardness. Uh, hopefully, they'll invite me to a game in a second. I got invited. You did? Cool. There it is. So where are we going to? Frost. We're like... going to Frost. Nice. I don't know if Puddle knows it's the best of three. Okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, I wonder if he thought it was the best of one again. Mm. Then we'd be done in like 20 minutes. Yeah. We just started having show matches. Wow. Could be fun. It's just like all best of one ZBZs. I wonder how fast that tournament could get through. 
You probably get through a best of 64. I mean, not best of 64, uh, a 64 man bracket in like an hour. <laughs> yeah, probably. I say a best of 64. That would be. That would be something. Well, didn't wasn't it like didn't uh, what base trade used to do best of 96 is. There was a best of 69. I know that. Sure. Like some like ridiculous thing where I remember like Snoot and Bunny were playing for like 20 hours straight. Oh uh, shit. Alright. Alright. In the bottom left hand corner, we have playing the blue Zerg up 100 in the series. It is Matisse. And up here in the top right, looking to bring this back to a game three we have all in this puddle all right so we're gonna have cross spawns here puddle actually gonna gonna drone scatter it out realizing that um that's a that's a 13 oh actually that's true that is a 1312 yeah that is so he's gonna drone scatter out find his opponent in 1312 so yep. it's gonna get a little bit of a cheesy little right, cheesy game here is going for a hatch first here we got a little reversal of rolls here, a slight bit. Um, Poe's gonna try to end this one out a little early. And like I was saying last, ga uh, last game, uh, it's a really good build. I really like this build for uh, in CBZ mm -hmm. on this map. Um, so let's see how Mat Matisse does. He's gonna, he's not gonna scout this very fast, right? Because he's gonna only overload scout, not drone scout. His first overload is going to the bottom right, second overload is going to the top left. He's not going to yep. spot puddle for a very long time. Yeah. And uh, depending on where his third overload goes, or if he sends anything, he may not see the links until they're like, at his base. Um, I actually like sending a third overload across the horde, uh, you send a third, uh, like across map. But that's still, it's, it's a long time from now, that third overload. Yeah. Do you ever drone scout on this map? Uh, yeah, I, I actually do. I, because of this stuff. Yeah, actually. that's insane. So very smartly, Puddle goes in, spots the hatchery, immediately turns around. So uh, Matisse doesn't, you know, get a get a spot on that. Doesn't know he's drone scouting. Because even even if we're a good player, right? If you know someone else is drone scouting, it's kind of like, huh? Why is he drone scouting? Most people don't drone scout, and you see the timing of it. Yeah. So these lings are gonna come in. Um, you think he goes right in, or you think he hides nah, these lings? No, you, you hide make bailings first. Right, right, Puddle, right, Puddle. Don't make a fool Maybe of me. Not. He's, he's making a fool of me. Well, he's making a fool of me. So yeah. lanes are coming across the map. Matisse knows something's happening. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's doing the spine car. Okay, yeah, I, I know I know this build now. Although Matisse did make a lot of lanes there. Pretty yeah. pretty early. I didn't he's got, he's got enough lanes to easily clean this up. Uh, I actually didn't wait, did he see anything that made him think to make all those lanes? I don't think so. That was a little, I don't know. I didn't see anything across the map. Yeah, like he, he just made like two queens and made eight lings immediately. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I, gotta, I gotta check that replay later to see if he saw anything, because that was, that was yeah. a weird, kind of a weird uh, response to that. Here comes some bane lings though. See how the, see how the micro is. Because he's not gonna bane lings and these slow lings, these bane can do a lot of damage. Big hits there. Big hits on these lings. Uh, two ling two queens here blocking off the ramp though. Yeah, Puddle didn't, I don't think Puddle's reinforcing this though. He's, he's actually droning right now. And the two queens here, but it should be able to clean it up. Just get some lings sneak by, but not really much they can do. Uh, yeah. Speed about to finish. Speed's gonna finish, and yeah, puddle, puddle's done. He realizes he can't break this. Yep. <coughs> yeah, oh. actually, I, I wonder what that was that caused him to make all his links. I wasn't really sure. Mm -hmm. um, I might have to check that out later. 